Hey guys, Mike Walker here from MikeWalkersBlog.com. Everybody knows about Facebook, everybody knows about Twitter, Instagram, all those huge sites. But today I'm going to give you four more huge sites for traffic for your business that most marketers aren't using. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm just going to dive right into this thing today. So the number one website is BuzzFeed. And what's really, really cool about BuzzFeed is it's for a younger demographic, those um, in the age group that are more into entertainment, home decor, things like that. But what's really cool about BuzzFeed is it gets a ton, I mean a ton of traffic. And what's cool is you're able to contribute to the BuzzFeed, to the, to the website itself. You're able to put your content in there. And what's really, really neat is if you put in some really good, valuable content and people start seeing it, they start looking at it and watching it and all that, what happens is BuzzFeed realizes that and they say, hey, this thing's getting a lot of attention. How about let's promote it and blow it up? And they basically, they help you go viral. So that's what I love about BuzzFeed is all you have to do is create a really good piece of content that, more, that a lot of people are going to value and like and want to look at. And by doing that, BuzzFeed will actually increase your viewers. So you may go from a few hundred viewers to several thousands or tens of thousands. So that's what's really cool about BuzzFeed. Number two is Forbes Magazine. And before you start getting all excited, no, you probably will not be invited to write on Forbes Magazine unless you've done some, something really, really great, right? But what you can do is you can blog comment. You can go into Forbes and you can actually comment on the blogs that are in Forbes Magazine. Well, what's cool about that is Forbes Magazine allows you to post two external links in your comments, up to two external links. So in your comments, you can, you can actually give a comment on a blog post, and if it's a high value comment, something people will like to learn more about or appreciate, then what happens is you can actually put your external link and direct people to your website and get traffic that way. So that's what's really, really cool about Forbes Magazine and blog commenting. Once again, my number three way is Business Insider. Business Insider website is basically like Forbes, but they have a few different topics in there other than Forbes Magazine. But what's cool is in your username, you're able to put your URL. So when people see you blog commenting, they're going to see your username, but they're also going to see your website as well. And you can lead them back to your capture page or your blog or wherever you want to send them. So that's what's really cool about Business Insider. And both of those websites um, are basically just blog commenting. You know, that's basically what those two are. But they both get tons and tons of traffic. My last, my last and fourth way is Reddit. And if you haven't heard of Reddit, Reddit is actually one of the biggest websites on the internet right now that I guess a lot of people don't really understand and really realize. Reddit actually has an Alexa ranking of 30. So it's one of this, the 30th biggest website on the internet right now. And basically web Reddit is set up to prevent spammers from coming in. So that's really good if you're a marketer because if you're a marketer, you don't want people in there spamming all over the place because it's hard to differentiate, you know, who is and who isn't. It's set up to keep the spammers out. So that's one thing I do love about it. Um, another thing too is um, Reddit actually has subcategories or they call them subreddits. So what you want to do is you want to create content that is specific to a subreddit. For instance, um, one subreddit would be videos. So what I would do is I would want to create content that's specific to videos. And then that way people can comment on it and, and, and post it and post their um, the likes and all that type of things to it too as well. But another thing to remember too with Reddit is be sure when you're, when you're commenting, when you're posting things, to post external links to, to websites that you don't own. So for instance, if I'm doing content revolving around videos, I would post my content about videos, but then I would say, hey, for more information, you should check out Mark Harbert because Mark Harbert teaches you how to do videos for YouTube. And Mark Harbert's a great marketer and all that kind of stuff, you know, and that's not a shameless plug for Mark, but that's what I would do is I would send somebody to another source or another resource that would actually teach them more about how to make good videos for their business. So 
those are my four things today guys i hope you got some value out of it if you did please like and comment below feel free to share this with your team and guys until the next video this is mike walker from mike walker's blog <clears throat> empowering you to create real life change bye bye for now